Hi. In this slide, we're going to look at uh, kind of nine chronological steps that we would go through with a customer who already has uh, some sort of existing uh, demand replenishment uh, system or capability, uh, whether it be ours or a competitor's, and we're going to go in and leapfrog the competitors or we're going to take ours and just move it to the next level. I think it's safe to say that not uh, if we have a number of, of replenishment relationships with customers and we went and looked at every element of those replenishment relationships and said is every element a 10 as far as uh, uh, how it, it performs or the people that are involved how well they know it and use it and interface with one another and communicate and so forth the answer is well of course not. So. Um, it's a it's a continuous improvement uh, 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 iteration. You get down to number nine, you go back to number one in a way. So uh, applying it to either a target account. So if it's a target account, first of all, have they met our target criteria? Uh, if so, great. Uh, if they're a core account, uh, obviously already have. We've done that. We've already done number two. We've already done four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're just going to recycle through this. Um, so what we're saying to uh, a, a target account or even a, a core account is, hey, uh, what we'd like to do is, is do an audit. And, and, and walk through and see if we could come up with uh, some ideas on how to improve lower total procurement costs, improve uptime economics, and et cetera. And they might say, well, sure, I guess, you know, as long as you're not going to hurt anybody, it's all for free, you know, go, go ahead and do the analysis. So we do the analysis and we come back and we have a proposal. On a scale from one to 10, it can be, hey, here are three things, you mind if I just take, go ahead and do them for you type of thing? Sure, fine. As opposed to it's a, like a, a typed up thing and it's got flow charts and it's, it's going to take care of a whole chain of locations. You know, I mean, obviously, <laughs> there are systems and there are systems uh, and there are tweaks as opposed to tuning and as opposed to re-engineering. So there's a wide range of, of proposal here. But whatever our suggestion is, we, we've got to do it. So who's going to do it? Uh, when we put in the improvement, the tuning, or the redo, or whatever it is, if we don't have a common understanding and appreciation uh, for how to measure it and have somebody on both sides of the fence who are responsible for doing that, uh, we won't ever get the full benefit out of what we intended. Um, you know, maybe we do something and, you know, we get a little bit of a lift. It's kind of a 20% of the effort. We get 80% of the benefit and then the 80% becomes 60, 50, whatever. Because if you don't keep putting energy back into systems, they just get outdated and grow weeds and, you know, become uh, calcified and have problems. So uh, we have to sort of agree on who on both sides of the fence are going to be the co-champions and, and measure this, this uh, system to make sure we are getting the economics and continuously improve it and, in a sense, document um, all these, quote, hidden costs and upside benefits that are accruing. And this will allow us to maintain the system and continue to expand the system and add more items to the system or drop items and add new items. So we have to sort of, there's an adapt adaptation dimension also to systems. And then lastly, we want to make sure that up here on the proposal, number five, we have some pre-installation requests where we say we're not going to go ahead and do six, seven, eight unless you know, we have somebody who's going to cooperate with us and be responsible for measuring these things. And as we do these things, we need to document the equity because we have to have testimonials. Because otherwise, what will happen is we'll get this great system up and going. We'll put all this work and so forth. And 18 months late from now, a key person is going to uh, retire or quit or get promoted. And someone new is going to come in, maybe from the outside, and some you know, silver-tongued competitor is going to say, oh, I'll do whatever the incumbent is doing and I'll sell, it, I'll, I'll do it all for 5% less. Well, and, you know, if you can get 5% price savings, you instantly say, well, let's do it. But you don't know what you're throwing away. You don't, you have no appreciation for all the sweat equity that went into uh, the system. You don't realize that all the switching costs that you have to recreate 
with the possibility of not actually getting back to where you currently are. So uh, we need those kinds of testimonials. Now what will happen is we can go back in next year and we can do the same thing because guess what? Over the year things have changed, people whatever, and so this is a, a process we have to continue to do uh, both with core accounts target accounts and even big losing accounts because for big losing accounts we're going to come out and do an analysis and, and, and have quite a, a, a suggested redo as far as how we do business together. So those are, and if you go to, there's a footnote, go to my website at exhibit 59, there's a 26 page sort of tutorial on inner business process relationship improvement. And I basically use these nine steps to organize a lot of the material that's in that uh, tutorial. Thank you.